Hello, my friends. It's Calamity back playing Lamp Simulator. So, the last video we went to Farmer Sam. We did some quests. We brought down, chopped down his old barn, and also we went and got some treasures. So that was fun. Today, um, I've stacked up offline. I've stacked up all the wood. We're back at the shop, um, picking out all the bits and pieces that we left behind. Put that one on that side. All about jiggling. Pick up my. Oh, I was going to save my my game again. After I actually um, packed up all the wood. So I've just packed up all the wood. Come back online, and we are here starting. Almost at the end of the day. Okay, so that's fine. I wanted to get all my building, um, let you see all my building. So that's why I've um, come back, instead of just coming back the next day like I normally do. Oh. I don't know why, but as a woman, <laughs> you can't, it doesn't drive trailers. Um, Reverse, I am. Okay, we're almost there. One more turn. One more six point turn. Might just do it the easy way, I think, and just come up beside it. Oh, and reverse. That will do it. Oh, calamity, not over it. I don't know, do you struggle with this, this um, reversing as well? Let's see if we've got it. Nope. Oh, we're too close. Okay, if we just go a little bit, little spot, and stop, and we should be able to get it now. There we go. All good. And we just have to reverse and do some fancy mid jingle in here and drive out. Okay, we'll just get the right camera view. There's a deer running around. So, how much money did we have left after our big spend up? Um, so, that is what Jay will do. $1,400 left. So, that's almost what we started with. And we've got all the extra goodies going. We've got the um, oil wig going in the last episode. And that was really exciting. Not being able to find um, an oil wig at my usual spots. So we still can do honey. That was up the back of the shop. We could get the beehives. Now the beehives apparently do come back again every couple of days. So maybe every couple of days you can go and um, I saw one guy I've been watching um, in Rant Simulator. He had like a dozen beehives. So you may be wondering why did I buy wood? The reason why I bought wood is I do have two lots of cuttings here. But the thing is, I would really like extra. So our chickens didn't get let out this morning and it's almost night time and they've given us two lots of eggs. Wow. I don't know how we've got two lots. We've just doubled our eggs, eight eggs. Now they have no food here. Probably starving. So we'll give them some food. Um, that will keep them going overnight. Just clean up their pee pee -boos. To see if they want some food. Let them stretch their legs and I'll put them to bed shortly. Um, that one's a little bit hungry. That one's found a worm, so he's okay. Right. Um, 1800 we will I think 
invest the car back and start on this barn. Oh, <laughs> what a perfect spot. Um, jump out. There we go. We will start on the barn. Now the barn doesn't take much. The first half off here. Um, so I'll just show you what I've done first off. Uh, you go into this tab here, the third one. I put down a barn front section. Okay, so there's two sides to it. One's got like the door with an area there. So it's got like a door at the front. And then I put down a middle piece, which is this one here, which won't go down without support. So that's in the centre there. And then I put down another front section. So that's how we've got the drive through. So the back section actually has like a back wall. Can you, I'm not sure if you can see that. If I turn it around, you might be able to see it. That has, there we go, that has a back wall. So that's not drive through here. So I put two fronts on here. Therefore, we can drive through. Okay, so that was pretty easy. Where did I put my wood? So I'm thinking that the uh, front section needs 18, 19 wood. Now, fortunately, it does a few bits at the time. So that means that we can get this done a bit quicker. Now we'll just do to here. There we go. So we've got all the front feet with one lot. So that's eight, that's 16. So now we'll do up the top. Oh, what happened there? Point with E. We'll do the front bit. So these ones are only one bit of wood. So that's that bit. We need a couple more bits of wood just for the side bits here. So that's covered one bit. Yep, that's it. We need to finish off the windows. There we go. There's our barn. Pretty cool, huh? So now we'll do the back one as well, just to show you what it's like. So I'll do it exactly the same. Um, we just started with less wood, that's all. So now I need another two bundles. One more bundle. And it's always good to do the furthest away from you otherwise you can't run through all these um blueprints what was left over here one window what here and ladders to go up here if you want to go up here is it this one this one uh, that was the other one What's missing? What's the next section? Oh, here. Here we go. So that's the next section of the barn. So you can see the centre section now. So it gives you a ladder in case you're... This is 20. Okay. So I've already put in two posts. So these will join up when the barn is complete. Just do a little bit of time. So you will go through your wood pretty quick.
the needs you probably just saw are these wooden uh, these little road pieces are square and it takes six pieces of plank do that one up there oh another one we'll get one more up here just to show you how to use this here we go and we're finished so that was nice and easy that would over there to say it's little so there's our barn people now um, we can choose to put doors on here which I probably will around the side here you're going to think oh this is like no uh, I'm going to put some pretty flowers around here so that will make it look nice I don't think we can get another square in here no. So we can't the red says we can't do it inside we can we can now so that has come straight out to here so that was pretty convenient um even though it looks like the barn has put been put in crooked which it probably has been um and going by the indication here it has but that's okay we can't put that last um board here which really spoils it but then again we won't be putting these through here anyway um, can't do that one so we won't be doing this one we'll just we have pretty flowers so people could just walk in on the grass l natural mm, i haven't worked out what that fuzzy woozy woozy is i don't know if that's storm or what that is but I do get that quite a bit. So if anyone knows what that is, it could be Storm. And it could be just my my game going crazy too. So that's that. Um, might just go and put the chickens into bed just for safekeeping. Oh, why did we put that food down? I was going to move them tomorrow. It's okay they've both gone to bed they have food they have water now we need to go to the um the shop tomorrow and we will get uh this is where the chickens are going to go tomorrow and we have some little pens here which i might keep a pig or two in just until we can get their barn done but anyway let's get going i might pull my car over a bit closer because i'm lazy and i can't walk <laughs> i can but i don't i choose not to now first things we're going to have to do is a way to get in here um we'll pull down this one and we'll put up a gate She'll just do a bit of luck, it will just, it won't. Okay, so what you do is you take out the floor, put your gate in, should lock in now. There we go. And then you can put your floor back. Um, I'll do it afterwards because I'm going to put two gates in here. Uh, I need to take this one down. We go two gates. I'm not sure if I can um, put it dip back down with the car being here. I can't while I'm standing on it. Yes, that's okay. Okay, so now we can put in our fence. We can put in this fence. We can put in the side fence. Um, oh, why did I do that? I like to have this one here as we just lost one piece of wood. Um, I like to have connecting fences here and it connects properly. Should just zap in there. So that one's good. Now, if you destroy something like I put one piece of wood in, you won't get that back. But if you put a whole fence in, you'll get half of the wood back um, might 
just have to have it there. Leave this open for a minute. Oh, what am I doing? Take this one off. Put in a fence here. There we go. Clicks in nicely. Build that one up. Can reach from here. Put this one in here. Uh, we will put wood on this one because that's where the the um, the cages. That one. Uh, we could no. We don't need one here. I'm going to do birds or something. So we need 20 planks for the um, two hen houses. That's 20 each. So this is why I've brought wood people. Without all this wood, we wouldn't have done the barn. So all the woods in that one, all the woods in that one, we've got wood all the way around. Not much left. Just check that we're all the way around. Nope, we need four more. That's okay. With four in there, one, two, three, four, five. That's good. So now, I didn't really need that one in there, but cough, 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 cough. Hopefully you won't hear that. Well, we have a little bit of metal here. We might also use up these tens, because we need seven, seven. We'll use up this ten as well. And our chicken coops are done. Now I also, I'll do it straight away, I like to put some lights up here. So we go to our build menu, we're on the two, three lines. These are troughs, lights. I like to put them up there, in the centre. Well we have some metal here. Now they take four metal, but we have six. Turn this one on and we have light people I think I have some more metal left here yes plenty now I like to put this straight over into the garage and it's bedtime I'll put this over here so if we need more metal we know we have some the same as the cement Keep that there, keep that there. We have some cement left over because we're going to um, get more cement. I think we need some for windmill and some for a grain keeper. So we have 30 out of 50, we have 28 out of 50. All good. We will take the fuel and put in our car. So we have one fuel for the um, The car, one for the, uh, the oil rig and one for the wood cutting. So we haven't touched this wood. So if we wanted to, we could go and um, pick this wood up now and pack in to the back into the trailer so we know where all our wood is. Okay, um, it is getting night time. I'm really not sure how long I've been online. Doesn't seem very long. But today we have our our chickens done and our entry entry um, barn which I'm going to have like as a shop here 
Um, yes, we will take this off here. So this is no longer our, our, this will be our entry, but when you drive in, you'll be able to come down here. Might just put one more here. Uh, this one. Here we go. So when you drive in here, put three down. So when you drive in here, you'll be coming this way and driving around the farm. So we may take out these ones here. Um, I guess you don't want to be driving here. But there we go. This is where our path is going to be. Down here and down here and then it comes single path here. Actually we could do a double path here just in case we have some big trucks. Um, we start here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Double paths there. Three, four, five, six. There's another tree that will have to come down. Of course, we have to move our logs. Here we go. In case I haven't already showed you, which I'm sure I have. take this tree down because it was in our way, pack up our logs over here and then we'll be having to do some more, um, I was going to say planking, is that the word? No, um, when we come to make, cut our logs into planks we can just do this bundle, move along over here to this one, we could just move this out here, show you my little trick it really quick. So all I'm doing is just hitting the left button. They're not packed but they're good enough. Here we go. Go back to our hammer. The building. And we have our double track. We have our double track here. Here we go, everything's good. We're missing one. Right here, that's in. And we need to put a double one in here. That means we need to move these logs out a bit. What I'm doing is clicking, pick them up, and left clicking again, which just drops them. Put one more? Yeah, I thought there was one more. There we go. Put in our board. I'm going to put one in there too. So that's a double one. And then this tree has to come down as well, so that's okay. Oh, this little bit of fiddling around here. Another little stack. Put in our blue board here. Here we go, we've got a double here. Double here. Double here. One, two, one, two. Um, it doesn't quite, does it? One more in here. So we come down here and then we have to go along here. What do we need this one? I think we do. Yes, we do. Uh, I might put that one in there and that one in there. 
Here we go. And we can put some something along here. Pretty nice. Come through here. And then the people can come and take their kids and see the tickets. Close this up for now. Um, tomorrow we'll move the chickens over. Um, we also have to build feeders. Now the problem with feeders is if you build them next to a fence, it's same with pigs and cows. If you build feeders, I'll go to this one. Next one should be the feeders. If you feed, put the feeders near the fencing, the cows, pigs and chickens will climb over. But putting them just here is fine. Because we're in that metre, whatever you like to call it, the metre range. We put, actually that's good because we can hide that little gap there. Little chickens won't get in there, but you never know. So we will be building another chicken pen, a larger one. This is just to get us started. Oh, I can't get it straight. That will do. There's the food. And we'll put down a water. Um, we might just build these up tomorrow. straight. That one's nice and straight. Sometimes you just have to move that mouse just a little bit. We'll do. There's the feed and waters for the chickens. We just have to put some wood into that tomorrow and we are done. So it's 2200 and it is time for us to go to bed. Did we have our bed in here? Yes, we did. Now, I'm thinking, just quickly, I'm thinking if we're going to have a shop, we can put our extras in here. Because if we want them, we can buy them from ourselves. No one will pinch them, because they're all going to be um, coded. <laughs> and it will be locked up at night time. So, saying that, we need to put up some double doors. Uh, no. So we won't do any double doors. I'm going to have to leave that bit out. We need, still need somewhere to sleep. That's a spare one. So this is just showing people what we're going to sell. Okay, there we go. They'll be all safe. Tomorrow we'll put some doors on. But tonight I'm going to bed. I just want to say thank you for joining me. Um, tomorrow we'll go out on another adventure. Um, we need to go to the shop and get some more animals. Now we have, how much money have we got? We have $1,400. That's enough for two pigs and some water and a bucket and grain for the chickens as well and for the pigs. All right, people, thank you for joining me. Um, it's been great being here. I hope you've enjoyed. I was going to say I hope you enjoyed the show, but <laughs> I'm here to entertain you today um, and maybe for you to learn something new. All right, so um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.